Hello, and welcome to Inflatable Sop Authority. Today we'll be reviewing the Nixie Newport G4 and everything it comes with. So as you can see, we have a leash. We have a nice wheeled bag. We got the Typhoon pump. And then we got the fins and the paddle. Stay tuned. Who is the Nixie Newport for? Well, it's for people that want high quality accessories to come with their board. A board that has high quality construction that will last a good amount of time. A board that tracks well, as well as someone who wants a paddle board that's not very heavy at all. At 21 pounds, it's actually pretty light to carry, even if you're in you know, your 60s, 70s, it's not too bad at all. Some other activities you can do with this board is sup yoga, fishing, as well as just all around use, and light touring. Now, you won't win any races with this board because it is an all round board, but it is, it tracks pretty well in the water and it definitely is a pleasure to paddle that many beginners, intermediates, and even advanced paddlers, I believe, will really appreciate. So overall, the on-water performance for the Nixie Newport G4 is like pretty good. It's, I was actually expecting the on-water performance of the board to be not as good as it is. I, I as it is when I tried it. So yeah, I'm actually pretty impressed with the speed. The tracking went far beyond what I thought because. The board is listed at 33 inches. Now that's not like, you know, deal breaker for tracking or anything like that, but it does make a little bit of a difference. But the way Nixie has designed the board, like I've seen myself paddling against other people that have like eye rockers or whatever, and the board can keep up just fine with these 31 inch boards, 32 inch boards. Now, would I use this paddle board in a sup race? Probably not. And I, you know, I don't think it's fair to really compare this to racing boards or anything like that because that's not what it's used for. This is more of an all round, all purpose kind of board. So it's nice because I mean, it's a decent board. It has good stability for fishing. You can even do sup yoga for it. Um, would it be the best sup yoga board ever? I wouldn't say so, no, but I mean, heck, you can do it. I definitely just standing, uh, kneeling and doing a few positions. Like I, I can definitely get behind doing yoga on this. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is also good for just casual touring, you know, like you can definitely paddle for hours on this board just make sure you know you bring lots of water and whatnot and the uh, correct supplies you need so yeah honestly like props to the folks at Nixie man they've really put together a very good board like from the boards I've tested so far this has been my favorite run my favorite one just because it just feels so stable this is the Nixie Newport G4 by itself now, before I go into the review, it really helped me out if you guys give me a like and a subscribe if you thought this video was helpful. It helps promote the channel and it helps me spread information for all these boards and all the sub techniques that you need. Thanks. The Nixie Newport G4 is an all around paddle board for beginner to intermediate paddlers, but I think a lot of advanced paddlers would also appreciate all-around capabilities of the Newport. Its length is 10 feet 6 inches long and the width is 33 inches wide. The board weighs 21 pounds and it has a 300 pound maximum capacity. The material of the board itself is fusion laminated drop stitch material while the side rails let me a little too are actually made of carbon. In this video, we'll be doing nose to tail specs about this board. 
So here is a handle that you can use to carry the board if you're with two people. This is the nozzle. When you're inflating this board, it's recommended to keep it at about 15 psi. Just simply unscrew the cap. There it is. If you want to release air, just push this down, twist it. Next is this cargo deck wetting. So this you can essentially just put things like water bottles. I usually have my sandals there. You can also put dry bags there as well. And these are mounts for rod holders, for uh, drink holders, basically a whole bunch of other things, camera holders. So you can actually use your GoPro to screw it in and you can point it at yourself or you can point it towards the water and document your whole paddling journey. Next, we have the handle. This handle is made, it has a little neoprene cover which you can take off. I don't really recommend it because this is actually very nice on your hands when you carry it. You'll notice these three little dots here are for pointers for your feet. So if you're a beginner and you're not really sure where to stand on the board, just use these dots as a reference and you're perfectly balanced and you're in about as good of a spot as you can to learn. Next, we have these D-rings. Now these D-rings are meant for a kayak seat, which Nixie, or you could also buy it on Amazon or anything, it'll be compatible. Simply place the kayak seat here and you're good to go. As we go on, we have more mounts for the same purpose as I stated before. And then there's, I like this area where there's lots of deck webbing towards the back. This you could have like a backpack in, I've carried the speaker and like a cooler before. So it's really handy for that. And then this little D ring here is for the ankle leash. So you don't have to use the deck webbing to attach your ankle leash. You could actually just attach it here. And then at the back, you have another little mount that you can use for your GoPros, your rod holders, etc. And then in the back, there's a little handle. So this is good for if you're just getting out of the water and you don't want to drag the thing pins along, you just grab this handle and you go. Nixie Newport is made of fusion laminated drop stitch material. Now this kind of material is used for higher quality inflatable boards and it requires less layers. There's less bubbles that actually go through the material. Like I've used this board like at least over 10 times now and there are no bubbles that are appearing yet. And it is also easier to fold as well, which is especially key because some heavier inflatable sops, they can be a real pain just to fold, but this one folds up pretty nice. I'll go through that in a little bit. If you look to the side here, the Nixie Newport features carbon reinforced side rails on its sops. Now what this does is it keeps the board's rigidity and also kind of helps it against any bumps or bruises that occurs along the way of its journey. So like rocks, etc. And it also allows it to be a lot more stable in the water as well, which is pretty key, especially for beginners that want that stable feeling when they're first getting used to the board. The Nixie Newport comes with three fins one FCS universal nine inch fin, which is the rear one. Now this fin can actually fit many different fin setups that can be found on like surfboards, other paddle boards, etc. So that's one of the newer features that Nixie has put in. And then you have two supporting fins, which I find are a heck of a lot better for tracking than those little plastic fins that are just glued on to a lot of other paddleboard manufacturers. So I really appreciate how these fins track in the water. Um, I was actually very surprised at the tracking of this board when I first tried it. First accessory that we'll be reviewing is the Nixie paddle. So this is a carbon hybrid paddle that weighs one and a half pounds and it ranges from 67 to 84 inches. The shaft diameter is 28.5 inches and the blade is made of nylon material 
which is 90 square inches total. Now I'll just demonstrate how light this board is. So just as is picking it up, that's 21 pounds. <laughs> and you could just carry it like this, the fins pointing down there, and then off you go. And now we're gonna go through the pros and cons of the Nipsey Newport. Pros are that it is really stable in the water. Uh, you can see my on water performance videos. I was really impressed by it. The tracking is also really good. I love how it's lightweight. It feels so much lighter than a lot of the other boards I've tried. And even walking it to the water does not seem like as big of a deal. I love all the storage space that this board features. The deck rigging on the front and the back is both very useful. Like you can carry water bottles here, coolers, backpacks, very handy. Um, the mounts as well, just to attach a whole bunch of different accessories you may need on your trip. And the speed was actually pretty decent as well. Like I said, it's not going to win you a whole lot of races, but the speed is pretty decent. I've been able to catch up to a lot of other people that have like 11 foot all round boards. Some of the cons of this board is that, well, one is the price, like you can get it on sale on certain times, but as of this video, it's $8.95 US dollars. Can be a bit pricey for some people. Um, I also was originally skeptical of the nozzle being at the front of the board. Usually they're at the back, but it worked out for the most part. The warranty and return policy for the Nixie Newport G4 is two year warranty and a 30 day money back guarantee. Now the warranty does not cover environmental damage, um, wear and tear, or even modifications that were done to the board. In terms of rating the warranty and return policy, for this board it's about middle of the road. There are some board manufacturers that have better return slash warranty policies, but I mean, it's, it's decent for what it is. To summarize, is the Nixie Newport a good buy? For me, it's a resounding yes. <laughs> what I really liked about it is just the stability, the way that they've included so many thoughtful accessories. The construction of the board is just fantastic. You can just tell when you're folding it that it's made of quality materials. Um, if you have the budget, I would 100% recommend this board. Thank you for watching. This is Derek from Inflatable Sup Authority and we'll catch you with more reviews and tips and tricks.